Hey Nixie, I'm Jonathan Burnett, and I'm a pre-press professional. Hi Jonathan. Now, uh, yeah, so just like there's a Mac and PC war, there's an Adobe versus Corel war. Uh, and so, uh, you didn't mention Corel, I thought I'd throw this in here just to kind of uh, bring it to the foreground, because Corel, is, while it's not as as most widely known in the graphic arts community it is it, uh, like I said there's that little war going on so um, you know as a pre-press professional it was my job to have to be able to convert Corel files and Adobe files and make make all the files from different formats be able to work and output <laughs> onto a single plate <laughs> as one document. Uh, so that was my job. And so that's where I'm coming from with my perspective. Uh, just to clear this up right off the beginning. Now, I, I personally, I prefer Corel, but as far as functionality goes, I think they're both about even. Uh, they, all, they both have their little, different little uh, the things that they have that I prefer one versus the other for, but uh, for the most part, for the average user like you, uh, it's identical in function. Yeah, it might be, you might have to go in this menu versus that menu, find it in someplace else, or it might be called something different, but they're all there. And usually, you know, if you're smart, which you are, you can find them because, you know, it's a difference in terminology. Just it's the a, a same word, with, or it's a different word with the same meaning. You know, so it. But uh, GIMP. Okay, so getting to GIMP, which is kind of what this is about. Uh, GIMP. You're right. The the GUI is got a little bit to be desired. It needs work, but that's true of almost every single open source software that I've ever used, and. Uh, I've been using Linux Mint 11 for about a year now, and uh, so, you know, primarily I've just been exploring it. You know, that's that's what I do as a person anyway. If I go hiking or something, I explore. <laughs> I start off with the main path and I branch off, trying out all these different little things and and go in different places. Um, so yeah, with open source, that's what I've done and get is definitely the best in graphic arts that you're going to find in open source. It's the most well-developed uh, and has almost all the same features as the big professional ones. Uh, now, like you say, the UI has a little bit to be desired, but I don't remember any issues with the, the layering like you're talking about, so I might have to open it back up and take a peek again. But I seem to recall being able to do color channels and layers and, and all that stuff. Uh, it, like I said, it might just be a difference of functionality rather than... Which can make all the difference in a production situation. Uh, I'll give you that. But uh, what GIMP does have going for it over both Adobe and Corel is the effects filters. Um, being open source, GIMP is created by open source people, and all of its users are open source users, you know, so, uh, and you and open source creators. So, uh, especially with GIMP being one of the oldest, most well developed open source software there is, uh, all the open source people use GIMP. And so, all these people that create open source projects are creating filters for GIMP. And filters are, you know, that's a small program in comparison to the larger projects that they're doing. So the effects are very well developed and, and uh, pretty much I, I was very, very surprised because uh, in my exploration of open source, Everything is suspect. Every, you never know if something's going to work or if it's going to bomb out on you while you're in the middle of something. But, uh, oh man, I, you go in the forums for GIMP and you're going to see these effects packs 
those are the ones that you want to go for and you're, you're gonna know because you'll see in, in the comments or whatever oh wow this is great uh, there are two specific ones that I downloaded that are just amazing uh, you know it's probably about 50 effects total between the two of them and you end up with all these different that's the only thing I didn't like is I ended up with all these all these different effects that I have to try and choose from now <laughs> but uh, a lot of them are great uh, so yeah uh, getting back to Corel and Adobe uh, Corel is geared more towards the creative while Adobe is more towards production so if you're in business and you're going to be sending your documents out to a million different printing companies then you want to go with Adobe uh, if you're just a little small dinky company or a, just you know an average user then you're going to want Corel or GIMP you know I guess it, if if you don't do much at all then you want GIMP uh, GIMP is free you know if you're, if you're not doing much then go with free that's my my uh, that's my belief you know and I'm not doing much right now but I already own Corel Draw 12 and I can yeah you know, I can download that if I want uh, but yeah so uh, I've got a version of Adobe I've got a version of Cor Corel uh, like I said I love cu I love customization so actually I don't know if I've said that in this particular video <laughs> uh, I've redone this video probably about six seven eight times now because I keep getting interrupted or I forget where I left off or I get off on a tangent you know how it is Anyway, uh, I'm going to stop this video now before I do one of those things again. So uh, thank you for your great videos, Nixie, and uh, uh, I hope to be looking forward to more of them.